going to speak to you now about the swing angle or the plane of the swing, the angle that the golf club travels around the body. Now, there's a couple of training drills that I like to do with my clients uh, when it comes to swing plane. I like to use this particular gadget, okay, a TRS, tour rotation stick. It goes on the butt end of the grip, helps for quite a few, few things this does. You could screw it on and what I want to give you the imagination of is as the club travels back, how to get it into a position that's going to make it easier to deliver the club to the ball more consistently. So what I've set up here is a tour stick in the ground, okay, an alignment rod designed to give me the angle of the swing that I want to encourage with a mid iron. So here's what I think about. When taking the club away from the golf ball and hinging the wrists, we like to try and encourage the shaft of the club to point roughly towards the position of the golf ball. Okay. This is when we get to the famous L-shaped position on the backswing. Okay. Just looks great and helps the club to travel around the body more efficiently. The alignment rod's one thing you can use. If you're practicing on grass, that's ideal. So you can take the club away, watch as it travels around that position, creating the ideal angle, delivering it to the ball. If you don't have a TRS, you can use a second tour stick. There's nothing wrong with that. Just to give you the visualization of what it should be like as you approach the golf ball. Trying to trace the path of the club to the ball. Let me show you. So second tour stick, just grip onto it where I hold the golf club. Tracing the path with the butt end of the stick, moving down in towards the golf ball and around as the club head then follows, helps you to get the path down the line, controlling the club face, most important thing.